Have you guys ever wondered what goes through a ride operator's mind whenever he has to e-stop a ride? Well today, I'm going to tell you that story. What's going on everybody? My name is Bryce aka Fast Action. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that sub down below. Put on the notification bell so you guys can notify when I upload a new video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next on this YouTube channel. So where I was, I was operating the panel of the ride. So I was the one saying clear in the microphone and pressing the buttons down for the train to leave the station. So on Patriot, you when I was there, you're supposed to have one in panel, of course. You have one a person on the other side of the station with a dispatch button. That's a button that the panel operator and the dispatch person has to push down at the same time for that train to leave. It's basically like a safety safety thing that they have. And there's another guy on back load that just basically gives the, the height clear. And if, it, if people don't know, we do, we do IROC, which means we have different rules and regulations. High clear means you're good to go. Like the floor is good to go with the waiting on the panel operator, which is me. To signal the right off so what I saw was this kid he was wearing a white shirt and black pants or black shorts you couldn't miss this kid he was on the very back row right next to the dispatch person so what I saw was like I said it was me on panel the one person in the back uh, unload and then dispatch so there's three people in there plus I had the supervisor of my area in the panel with me the whole time this is going on so as i dispatch this train that's before he hits about halfway up the lift by now the other train comes in and as this train was pulling in i see this kid jump one leg up onto like the, the gate that you know be open up if he doesn't get on the ride he puts one leg up on there looks both ways looks me dead in the eye and then jumps over so now there's nothing protecting him and the 20,000 pound train coming right at him yet it ain't going fast but if it hits him it's gonna hurt plus there's people who are exposed on that road there's no protective layer between because the track is above on Patriot you're sitting below the track so this the kid would walk right in front of the train as it's coming in those people are gonna get the brunt of the impact and that train isn't just gonna stop because it felt someone it's gonna go right through and that kid is gonna go straight to the floor and it's not gonna feel good. Might not have severely hurt him, but it's still not good to jump a fence that's designed to not let people into that area, restricted area. Hell, ride operators aren't even allowed to leave these boxes. And if we're behind a gate, we can't leave that gate. We are told to stay in those boxes until the train has come to a full and complete stop. It's even said, in the, in the, um, what's what I'm looking for? In the thing above, the spiel, the, the spiel, it says, do not leave the station or do not, oh crap, how does it go? The picture was automated. Uh, please do not leave your seat until the train has come to a full, complete stop. But some, along those lines, that's how it went. And this kid, like I said, jumped over the fence, started walking. Cause it was like a two or three foot uh, gap or area between the fence and the drop off. This Patriot had a drop floor because you it raises and drops when the train goes into the station. So it was down because the train just left. So you say clear, the floor drops and the train leaves as soon as the floor drops. So this kid, he jumped over and started walking in that cement zone. And it's like the fence, the cement, and then a red stripe going right down the middle. And he walked right up to that red line, and I said, um, I'm not gonna say his name, because there's such a C. I'm gonna say C. C, 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 look, look. I, I was like, like, trying to get his attention to look. And this kid was really walking on their platform, and I have both my hands on this, um, on my buttons, because I have to keep them down for that train to come to a full stop. So I had to have them down, both my hands were holding, and I was like, what do, like, I'm doing, I'm pressing e-stop, it takes one more step. And he took one more step, and I took my hand off and slapped that e-stop e button. Mind you, once that train stops, and I press that e-stop button, 
the maintenance has to come, managers have to come, all the supervisors have to come. And then luckily I had a supervisor in there to see exactly what happened. I don't know what would have happened if I was the only one seeing this happen. I mean, of course, other ride operators saw this happen, but with him having being in that panel with me, it gave me some backup, some confidence to know if I press that e stop, I'm not going to get in trouble. Because even though if if I told him the story and I press it anyways without him here, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get in trouble anyways. But just that last blow of confidence in me, just to slam that e button. He stopped button as hard as I possibly can. I'm pretty sure I damn near broke the thing. I mean, I literally took my fist and just slammed that shit. And so after the train has stopped, we've, we've, people have ran up, the supervisor is in the station, right? Or in the panel. He told me to go leave and go up the lift because I was a team lead at this point. So I was in charge of this ride. So I was in charge of telling people what the hell was going on so i meanwhile by now my supervisors already called patriot down with e-stop maintenance is on the way security is on their way uh supervisors and managers are all on their way i mean the whole park basically shut down for an hour while patriot is e-stopped i just want to make this clear there was no mechanical there was no personnel there was no guest hurt in any of this okay it was the quick reactions of myself, the supervisors, and my team on the floor to prevent this from happening. I start running up to the top of the lift where the other trains are. This is, by now the train's about halfway to three quarters up the top of the lift. So it's about, page 162 feet tall, so it's about 140 feet, just straight up in the air. So I, Every, I rocky this every other step. I was hustling up there. People in the back row were looking back at me and going, Hey, you know, what's going on? And I'm hustling back up. And I'm telling them, Hey, guys, unfortunately, we e stopped due to a, I shouldn't say this, a stupid guest hopped our fence in the station and we had to unfortunately e stop. And we'll get you guys going momentarily. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that this is the problem, and I keep hearing, whoa, 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 just people going at it, and I kept going row by row by row by row from seven to one, talking to them and letting them know what just happened and what's the procedure we have to go through for this to happen again, and they will not, can't say they will not, because that's not what it is. They, they will be able to finish the ride once we get it going. After I finished talking to everyone on that first train on that lift, I started walking myself back down to the bottom of the lift into the station. By now the ride is shut off. There is no power going to anywhere on the ride. The panel is shut off. Maintenance is in there. And as I walked back into panel, one of the maintenance guys pulled me aside and said, asked what happened? Why did you e-stop? Because actually e-stopping a ride in my home park was not necessarily a good thing to do. I mean, it's never a good thing to e-stop a ride. An e-stop is called an emergency stop. It's an emergency stop for a reason. You only press that button where there's a threat and an emergency on that ride. And this would have been the threat and an emergency in one. So this was an actual good thing that I pressed the e-stop. So the maintenance guy asked me, why did I press the e-stop? And then by now the kids being not hauled away, but he's kind of pinned up in a corner with like four security guards around him. Plus you had the rides manager, we had the GM of the park. I think the GM was there. That one of the high ranking managers was there. Then you had the leader security and the three off three other officers that are talking to this kid and asking him, why did you jump the fence? Why did you jump that fence? Because in Missouri, if you, if you don't obey anything written, if you disobey anything written, hop the fence, whatever, it's a misdemeanor in Missouri. And yeah, this kid was underage. He would have been trialed, tri trialed as a kid. So at this time, as I got back in panel and talked to the maintenance guys, I'm, my crew is doing a hell of a job, you know, crowd controlling that station because there was a lot of really mad people in those lines. I remember this one lady, she got, I won't say mad, but she kind of had the idea why the ride was down. She saw the kid jump the fence and she blamed on asked me as I was helping my, my team out controlling that, that crowd because they got pretty upset. I mean, it's the middle of the day. It's 80 some degrees. It's hotter in the 
caught it on get out in that station with all those people. You have all the mechanical stuff going on above them. The fans didn't work at the time in the station. So it's really, really hot. It's about 85 degrees outside, which means about 90, 92 in that station, even though it's open in four sides. But that lady was like, was it him? Like straight up, my, this top of her lungs, was it that kid? And I said, yes, unfortunately it was because of that kid. I don't know if I should have said that or not, but I said yes. And that lady went ballistic on my mean screaming on top of her lungs across the station. Mind you, the train's moved in, it's parked, they're unloaded. She's screaming through a whole train. Everyone around her is is talking to them, talking between themselves, or talking to my talking to my team, or screaming with her to that kid. I mean, this kid had to be no more than 14, 13, 14, maybe 15. I mean, he was tall. 13, 14, 15 years old. I mean, Max, he, there's no way he was 16 in high school doing this. No way. We High schoolers know better than that. And honestly, should middle schools know better than that? Hey, the gate's closed. Don't hop over. It's kind of simple. But anyway, after I talked to that lady, she went on her rant. We, the station was, they, we didn't tell anyone to leave the station, so it was kind of a big scene. Everyone was seeing this kid being hauled off by security, managers right behind him, Patriots doing his, his warm, up, like, warm up again, and getting ready to go back open. So right after we got going again, we are, my supervisor stayed behind to make sure we didn't happen again because his friends were the next people behind him. Oh, I didn't tell you guys this, his excuse for jumping over the fence is because his backpack was on the other side. And he thought since the train was out there, he'd be okay to run across our thing and get it. That was his, his legit excuse, that's what I was told by our supervisor team and our management team. Now, I know I'm not going to go into speculation of what his punishment was. All that I know that he was put on his, uh, put with his teachers for the rest of his day, for the rest of the day. I mean, this is early, like, like I said, 11, 10, or 11, uh, 10, 11, 12, 1. Within that time span, that's a long day. They didn't leave until about 3 4 o'clock when we were doing shift change. That's when all the schools were leaving. So they, he was with his teacher sitting on a park bench for the rest of this day. And anytime he needed to move or anytime he went somewhere, he had to be escorted. So he was stuck with his, his school. And from what I understand, I don't know if it was 100% true or not. I probably shouldn't say it. But he was banned from the park for a, a while. I don't know if that lift's been ban, uh, that ban's been lifted. But I, all I heard was he was not allowed to enter the park for an X amount of time. However, so the moral of, moral of this story, if you are a guest going to amusement park for this 2020 upcoming season, do not be the reason that your roller coaster he stops. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure you smash that like button. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me guys know if you guys want to see more videos and content like this. Again, I do stream uh, on twitch.tv forward slash fast action 99. Make sure you guys come by. Drop a follow. That would be really appreciated. I hope you guys have a blessed night. And I'll see you guys next time.